Hello guys and welcome back to Danganronpa. Previously, we were told that we needed to murder people if you wanted to escape. And I guess that's where our story continues. Though I'm pretty sure it's exactly how it sounds. You must kill someone if you want to leave. My mind froze and my breath caught in my throat as I thought about that. I could feel a paralyzing fear slowly making its way through my body, dominating every last nerve. The air hung heavy on me, pressing down like a weight around my neck. I mean, yeah, sure, it's like, you know, you have to kill each other and all, but that's pretty, pretty exaggerated there. But then again, it is a VN, so, you know, they kind of have to be that descriptive, so I understand. It took everything I had just to endure that weight. To survive daily life. Chapter 1. But for as heavy as the air felt, all it took to pierce it was her sharp Damn. words. So, what are you gonna do now? What am I gonna do now? What about everyone else? Why are you talking to me? Hey. Oh, alright. I think that was just a translation error. Because now it's she's addressing everyone. Just stand around glaring at each other. Her pointed comment was directed at everyone in the room. It helped pull us all back to reality. Right! She's right! Listen to me! <laughs> Sometimes, even if you're nervous or afraid, you just have to step forward. But like, how do you step forward when you're trapped in, you know, one place and the conditions are pretty dire? Like, it's not that easy. <laughs> to forget such a simple fact, I can't forgive myself. I'm so ashamed. You hear me? Please, someone hit me. I can't forgive myself. Someone hit me. Punish me. Uh, I... I hope you're not that kind of person. Huh? Jesus, if you have time to yell about it, you have time to do something about it. See, this is the more practical version of that other guy's advice, of Taka's advice. Like, just However, stepping forward isn't, you know, exactly advice, but if you have something to do about the thing, so yeah. Uh, perhaps, but what is the mission exactly? Stupid. Good point. Idiot. To look for a way out, duh. What the? And we totally need to find whoever was controlling that stupid bear and beat the hell out of them. Oh, I like that plan. But, but, but before we do all that, maybe we should take a look at the handbook. Oh yeah, that makes sense. I mean, while we're here and we can't really do anything about the situation, might as well play by the rules or else we'll die. It's probably best to check out the school regulations Monokuma mentioned before doing anything else. This is fine. True. If you stumble around with no clue what the rules are, something like that might happen again. Mm-hmm. Like, stupid death. I died by accident because I didn't follow the rules. So sad. Shit. Alright. So fine. then... Fine. Then let's hurry up and check out the stupid rules already. Hope Speak Academy e-handbook. So it's like a giant tablet with only the rules on it. After turning on my e-handbook, the first thing I, that appeared was my name. So, just like Monokuma said, the owner's name showed up front and center. So I guess, you know, that's, that's probably important in the future so that you don't mix the uh, handbook up with anyone else's. But I wonder what else the function of this thing is. So then, from the main menu that popped up, I selected the school regulations icon. Rule number one. Oh. An itemized list appeared on screen. It was the school regulations. Yes, we established this. <laughs> In other words, the rules being imposed on us all. What the... Alright, this... Okay, that's pretty frustrating, you know. It's a puzzle game that needs hand... That's hand-holding you. It's just like... What... Do you want the player to use his brain or not? Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. Uh huh. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. Um, well, I guess technically. 
With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope Speak Academy at your discretion. You know, just like locked doors in uh, gated downstairs, you know, minimal restrictions. Definitely. Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is strictly prohibited. Oh, it is in the rules. As is destruction of surveillance cameras. Mm -hmm. Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate unless they are discovered. Additional school regulations may be added as necessary. Wait, so does that mean that the blackened guy only has to kill one person and then not get caught and then he's free? Because that's what I'm understanding. Feeling a slight dizziness, I raised my face up from the screen. As I looked around, I saw the same stormy expression on everyone's faces. Stop fucking around! This is bullshit! What the kind... What hell kind of rules are these? I'm not gonna let them control me! <laughs> well, Zen, why don't you wander around the school without a cat in the world and see what happens? Ah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you wouldn't take that bet, Celeste. I mean, you are the ultimate gambler. Personally, I would love to see what happens when someone breaks one of the rules. I mean... We kind of already saw with the exploding bear thing. But if he got punished like what we saw before, I don't think there'd be a respawn. <laughs> what a nerd. I mean, same. But what a nerd. <laughs> Yo. I, ever since I was a kid, I grew up with my older brother, pounding this into my head. When a man makes a promise, he has to keep it, even if it kills him. What does that have to do with anything? Um. Exactly. So what? What? I made a ton of promises that I still have to keep. That's so what? Piece oh, of makes shit. sense now. So I can't afford to die in here. <sighs> None of that made much sense to me, but you are saying you will follow the regulations, is that it? That's true. Huh. Uh, well, yeah, I guess you're right. <sighs> hey, um, I have a question. For regulation number six, what do you think it means exactly? Yeah, that was that's what I was wondering. So like, you kill a guy, not get caught, and leave. So does that mean half of them can survive? Technically, basically. You're talking about the second half, right? Where it says unless they are discovered. I was wondering about that myself. Hmm. It's saying that if you don't, want, if you want to graduate, you have to kill someone without anyone finding out it was you. But why? Why do we have to do that? Because those are the rules. Come on. I don't really see any reason to worry about it. Just worry about following the rules as they've been explained to us. Such ignorance. Frankly, I don't want to hear anything from someone who waits for others to decide what to do for them. <laughs> don't jab at me. Why, why do you look at that? Oh my gosh. See, I told you guys. It's her, it's her thing <laughs> to be looked down on. Give me a break. More like a full-on stab. Hmm. Well, uh, for now, let's forget all that silly junk about murders or whatever. Okay. Now that we know the rules, let's start exploring the school. Hmm. True, we need to find out where exactly we are. Is there any way out? What about food and supplies? You understand? There are tons of questions we need to answer. Let's do it! I mean... Damn straight! Okay. Then let's all start looking around. Hm. I'll be going alone. Wow, what a loner. What? what, you're too good for us? Well, I guess, you know, you are too good for us because, you know, you're the ultimate rich guy. What? Why? That's a pretty stupid idea, don't you think? Hm. Someone here might already have started to think about murdering one of us. Are you saying we should stand around with them in our midst and make it that much easier for them? Hold on a second. Wait, hold on. That would never... What? Don't bother saying it couldn't happen. You can't deny the possibility. That's why you all seized up with fear when that graduation rule was made clear to you. <laughs> Am I wrong? Uh, um... But... Hmm. So, I'm simply acting in accordance with what I think is best for me. Just hold on. Hold on. Like hell, I'm gonna let you all run off and do whatever you want. What? Out of my way, Plankton. Ooh. Man. Uh, ouch. <laughs> what? 
It means you're a single-celled organism. That's what it means. Such ignorance. One tiny bit of plankton drifting across the sea. Well, technically, it's a lot of plankton because he is the leader of all the plankton, if you get my drift. So minuscule, so insignificant. They couldn't possibly have any kind of influence on the boundless ocean. You're fucking dead. I'm gonna kick your ass. Well, you know, plankton is part of the ecosystem, so... Stop it! We shouldn't fight! What? The fuck you just say? You sound a... You some kind of goody goody little bitch! You want us road Maybe down. I'm not supposed to say that. <laughs> Who do you think you are, talking to me like that? You think you're my dad or something? N no, I wasn't! You son of a bitch! Yeah. Wham. What mean wham? Oh, he punched me! Okay. And I threw back in a heap. Wow, I'm so... Oh, that, that must have been some kind of punch. I didn't even see the punch coming. It was suddenly right there in my face. One second I was standing there. The next, I was soaring through the air. Now that I think about it, maybe I'd kind of forgotten the kind of people I'd been trapped here with. My common sense had just stopped functioning. Being around all these ultimates had blown my fuses. I mean, anyone would have blown their fuse by now. It's not exactly a, an easy go, easy going situation. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised it led to something as absurd as this. But I just lost track of that sense of reality. That was my last thought as my consciousness started to fade, before it finally cut out completely. And when I finally opened my eyes again, what I saw was a nice room. The time unknown. All right. Yeah. <laughs> huh? Where am I? As if it had become part of my daily routine, I woke up in yet another room I'd never seen before. Huh. Sounds like some of my friends back in college. Okay, so... <laughs> but that's a story for another time. Where am I now? I now have access to the handbook menu. All right. All right. At certain points in map, what are truth bullets? Save and load. All right. Free saves and loads. F2 for transcript. Oh, but if you get, guys, of course, you didn't notice. You can't see me. Uh, but I swapped to controller because I think it'd be better for at least this kind of game. I don't need fast mouse reactions and whatever. All right. Let's do this one by one. It looks like there's somewhere in, something in the drawer. Oh, it's toolkit. I should remember that. that. That might be useful, especially in this kind of situation. But why would they give one to us? That's kind of sus. Like, do you want us to get out? All right, so... I mean, it's kind of obvious. I just wanted to check if he had something else to say. And... Well, I guess the toolkit can't open these screws. It's pretty huge. You have a camera? A surveillance camera. I hate the idea that someone might be watching me right now. We're not allowed to mess with the camera, so I'd better sh make sure not to touch it. Okay. It's a notepad. I guess the school must have given one to each of us. Uh, I guess keeping up with the whole school note, if you know, you need your notebooks, you need your toolkits, you need your dorm room, I suppose. What's this? It's some kind of lint roller. I guess we're supposed to clean up after ourselves? I, I mean, if you're gonna live here. Oh, I think, yeah, these are the keys to my room. Okay. Name is on the keychain. That might be important. We better hang on to it for now. Okay, what else is here? Oh, uh, door. This would be, appear to be the bathroom. Rattle, rattle. Huh? It's not opening. I guess it's locked. But weren't only the female bathrooms locked? Yeah, only the female bathrooms were locked, so. Alright, so on controller it snaps to. Yeah, see, look, it, it snaps when it's closed. Oops, wrong button. Some kind of monitor. Ugh. 
<laughs> That's all you have to say about that? Uh. <laughs> Trash can. All right. Okay, there was a coin in the trash can. Ah, oh, please no. It's gonna be that kind of game. White thing on wall. Oh, it's an announcement. Each room's lock has been designated, designed specifically to protect against tampering or lock picking. Remaking an individual room key is quite troublesome, so please make sure not to lose yours. Your room comes furnished with a shower, but please note that the water is turned off at nighttime. Also, the bathrooms in the girls' rooms include a lock of their own. Finally, we've prepared a small gift for each of you. For the girls, a sewing kit, and for the boys, a toolkit. Okay, so it was intentional. The sewing ki kit includes a map of the body's vital organs. One stab will do the job, girls. Oh, it's not to help us escape. It's to help us murder each other. Okay, it makes more sense now. For the boys, we believe a strong blow to the head with any of the tools should be ample. Uh huh. Yeah. Exactly as I thought. Don't think, just feel, and let's all enjoy ourselves. Man, this is sounding like the purge. Don't think, just feel, and enjoy yourself. Purge yourself of your inner demons and such. I crumpled up the sheet of paper and threw it in the trash. So is it in the trash now? Okay, let's test continuity. Just an everyday trash can. Okay, so there is continuity. Okay, at least they're that, they're that uh, consistent. Um, anything else? Anything at all? Door? Looks like the door leads outside. It's locked. Some of the rooms have locks, huh? Hey, two of us, we just read a note. Uh, I think I'm starting to understand. This room must be... <laughs> you did... Okay, that's kind of frustrating, but sure, you know, it, it's decided for all audiences and some maybe slower than the others. Someone... Must have carried me here after I fell unconscious. So that answers the question. That question. The next question is... What's everyone else up to right now? There's only one way to find out. And that's to get out of here. Then let's get out of here. That is not... Oh. Hang on. I am figuring out the get out of here button. Alright. I rushed out of the room to meet up with all the others. There was someone waiting for me there. Uh-huh. That was ominous. It was like something out of an old TV show. Ah, it's the anime one. Ah! I thought it was something dangerous. Here we go. Hi, Sayaka. Of course you would be the one outside oh. my room. Sayaka? Sorry. Are you okay? I I'm fine. I hope you're okay. Sorry about that. Oh, she's so sweet. She even said sorry, even if the one... You're the one who totally crashed into her, Makoto. She had an embarrassed smile on her face. I stood up slowly. Oh, you're also on the floor. Never mind. Are you okay, Sayaka? Are you hurt? Okay, now we're overdoing it a bit much. She already said she's fine. <laughs> <laughs> you make it sound worse than it is. I'm completely fine. I know how I look, but I've actually built some pretty good muscle jumping up and down the stage. Yeah, actually, I watched a documentary the other day about what uh, idols, you know, like K-pop artists and even Japanese idols go through the kind of training. And that is, that is not easy. They may be skinny, but they are no pushover. That's good then. But are you okay? You know, from when Mondo hit you? That's true. I got knocked out right there in front of everyone. I guess I reviewed my lack of cool right from the beginning. Don't worry, Makoto. Uh, same here. Lack of cool abounds. Alright, Makoto? Oh, uh, I'm fine. Nothing wrong here. Just my pride. That's good. Oh, that's good. I was kind of worried. 
Th thanks. By the way, what are you doing here? Uh, um... Uh, actually, I came to get you. Oh? With that determined look on your face, huh? So, I guess this is the game's canon waifu thing? Exactly. Look at look at Makoto's reaction. You came to get me? Um, listen. Well, if you really are feeling better, I was hoping you could come to the dining hall. The dining hall? You see. After you got knocked out, everyone decided to go and do their own thing. We decided it would be more effective if we split up to investigate. So we agreed to get together later on and talk about what we'd each found out. So does that mean it's almost time to get back together? If that's what's going on, then of course I'll go with you. That's good. I mean, how could you say no? Look at that face. That Okay, the, the face is gone, but you know. Alright, so... Everyone's already looked around for us. Oops. Okay. So, the, by the way, by the way it looks, everything here is dorms because they have their old faces. This looks like a trash... Yeah, probably trash. Uh huh. Bathrooms. Laundry. Okay, okay. I think I'm getting the layout now. What's this? That's a bath. It's a sauna. Oh. Anyway, to the cafeteria first, I guess. Oops. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Man, that pop in is really cool. This must be the dormitory dining hall. Um... It looks pretty clean, so that's good. I mean, if there's no one here, it can't get dirty, right? Uh, I guess that's not really important right now with us being prisoners here and all. Yeah, that's true. Nobody was there waiting for us. We don't really have much choice. I guess we should just wait here for now. Hmm, okay, let's just wait here. Huh? You heard that? Like I said, I'm psychic. You know, I'm I'm starting to believe that she's actually psychic. <laughs> Maybe. Well, I guess you know if you're a pop idol sensation, and you can read your audience's mood, and you know you can know what they're thinking. Although, that might not be exactly a good thing. Thinking about it, come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously, I just have an amazing intuition. Is it really just intuition? I mean, she already told you she's psychic. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, tutorial, reactions... Alright, purple words, and here's how they're gonna work. When purple words show up, you press the right mouse button to go in reaction mode. But I'm on... I'm on controller right now. Alright. Okay, so what is a reaction in this context? No. Uh, actually, I'm, I'm curious of something. There are trees out there. So can't we get out? Oh no, that looks like a concrete wall. Never mind. Um, doesn't look like anything interesting. Let's look for this first. Um, so what time is it right now? What? 7 o'clock at night? Man, you were out cold. Oh, there, we have night time now. Nice. That's, that's, a, that's a cool touch. Without being able to look out a window, I've lost all sense of time. I mean, same. Given our situation right now, sometimes you, you know, really just lose out of, lose track of time. If I have to stay in this place for far too long, I might just go crazy. I mean, relatable, right? Right, guys? <laughs> right? <laughs> okay, but seriously, okay, what's here? I'm not going to go wandering around. I'm just going to wait here patiently. Oh, that's stubborn. Okay, so what's hey, the react um button? Huh? What is it? Um, well, it's just... I know this kind of... Continuing the self-introduction thing, but I wanted to ask you something. <laughs> Not that button. Oh, it's this button. Okay. Uh, okay, let's continue this first. Continuing our self-introductions? Uh, um, we we kind of got cut off before, but I had a question I wanted to ask you. Sayaka so wants to ask me something. I wonder what it is. Now I'm really curious. Okay, Makoto, your cool points are going down slowly. Um, um, 
Well, well, it's just... I know this is kind of... Continuing the self <laughs> Okay, I won't read it like that. But I wanted to ask you something. I guess I'll be other. Well, what did you want to ask me? Makoto, did you happen to go to Black Root Junior High? Were you maybe in class two? I yeah, actually I was. <sighs> I knew it. I went there too. I was in class four, though. Do you remember me? Do I remember? Even back in middle school, she was a celebrity with all kinds of ultimates surrounding her. How could I forget? Almost as surprising as her question was that she remembered me. We never even talked to each other, but somehow she still knew who I was. Aww, Makoto's ego grew five sizes that day. Hey, um... <laughs> hey, are you okay? Nah, I'm just feeling good about myself for once. Hashtag not average. Oh, yeah, I, I'm just surprised is all. I wouldn't have thought you'd remember me. <laughs> we went to the same school for three years. Of course I remember. Ma'am, I went to the same school for ten plus years with the same people and I can barely remember any of them. Well, that's true, but there were lots of students in our grade, right? Yeah, exactly. Plus, I've never been the type of person to ever really stand out. Oh, here we go again. Okay, she already said she remembers you. Stop downplaying yourself. I'm a average at everything and all my hobbies are totally normal. Even normal would call me boring. Aww. What are you talking about? Oh, come on. Just let the girl compliment you, man. You're so strange. Strange that. Well, at least you're not average. <laughs> <laughs> she started giggling even louder. Probably thinking, what a loser. <laughs> That somehow mysterious smile of hers made my heart grow calmer. <laughs> Shit, wait, I can relate. Her smile was the nicest smile I'd ever seen. That's good. Anyway, I'm really glad that I knew somebody here. Oh uh. yeah, it's, it could be an advantage. Talking to you has made me feel a lot better about all this. You're amazing, Makoto. I didn't even do anything, you just remembered me. N no, I'm really not. I'm nothing at all compared to all you ultimates. <laughs> but you're the one that helped me find my courage again, not any of those ultimate students. You know, prediction time. I think Makoto is an ultimate. He just really doesn't know what it is yet. Thank you for saying that. Okay. And to thank you for helping me out, I'm going to become your ultimate assistant. Wow. Such an idle thing to say. Huh? My assistant? <laughs> yup, I'm your assistant now. Bring me some water. <laughs> Immediately abuses it. I'm going to help you out as much as I can, so let's get out of here together. When she says things like that, it... So, basically you want to commit murder together. Is that what you're saying? Because you know the rule states you have to kill someone. Oh, look. <laughs> and Makoto's ego grew even more sizes that day. Hey, um. Pretty sure not just his ego, but. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe no one's here yet. But I'm sure they'll start showing up soon. I mean, they better. This is getting awkward. <laughs> Almost like he timed it. Taka threw open the dining hall, hall doors right as Sayaka said that. Ah, oh, Makoto, Sayaka. So you got to, so you two got here first, huh? Okay, I'm sorry I keep getting the words wrong, but I like, I read faster than I, I read with my eyes faster than I read with my mouth. So I'm like at the end of the sentence while I'm reading the first word, and you know it gets all, it gets all jumbled up. How unfortunate. Not an excuse though. I'll try to do better. Too bad. I was sure I'd beat everyone here. I guess that means that just means I don't have enough fighting spirit yet. I don't think it has anything to do with fighting spirit. Got it. Well, I won't give up. Next time, I swear I'll win, no matter what it takes. Justice shall always prevail. Oh God, voicing you throughout this game would be hard. I hope you die first. <laughs> That's a bit much, don't you think? Oh, look at that smile. It's another what a loser moment. 
She doesn't need this. She's the ultimate pop idol sensation. What she's stuck doing with all these losers. Or maybe I'm just reading too much into it. Everyone else came strolling in one after the another. After a few minutes, everyone had gathered in the dining hall. Okay, it looks like everyone's here. Time to start the meeting. Let's all go around and share what we found out during our respective investigations. The sooner we find out what's going on, the sooner we get out of here. Oh, that's a good point. Oh, but where is Kyoko? She's not here. Hold on a sec. What are you talking about? All right, I'm just going to talk over them because what they're saying is not what they're saying. What's wrong? Hmm. What about, uh, what's her name? You know, the silver haired girl? Yeah, yeah, exactly, Kyoko. <sighs> hmm. What about her? Aww. She's not here. What? <laughs> I took a run. I took another look around the dining hall. Sure enough, she was nowhere to be seen. Um. I wonder where she went. Has anyone seen her? But everyone just shook their heads. Huh? Wait, so nobody's seen her? Why hasn't Kyoko shown up yet? Could it be because... Yes, indeed! Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting... How you do it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. It's as simple as that. <laughs> the rest is up to you. Give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. Is it possible? Was she re it's too early for that, man. It's literally chapter one. <laughs> you know, as, as, as these games go, it's too early. And if someone was gonna die, they'd be dead by now. Darn it, Kyoko! You're really gonna be late like this on your first day of school? That's what she told me. Not only is she late, she didn't tell anyone she'd be late. A most unbecoming personality trait. Okay, that actually rhymed. Come on. You're being a real jackass, you know. Well, what do you want me to do? Punctuality is everything. Well, what if you're punctual to your own death? You hear me? Now then, I declare the first session of the Hope Speak Academy breathing meetings has begun. That is a mouthful. Um... Makoto, actually, first of all, I've talked enough. Maybe we should listen to what everyone else has to say. All right, let's do that. <laughs> you know, <laughs> what's up? I feel like I really have you become your personal assistant, don't you agree? <laughs> I may not be the best assistant in the world, but I'll give it everything I've got. No, you, you've already done so much as my assistant. I mean, all you did was tell me what to do, like, right now. That's not much. Alright, no one to talk to except... I think that's the door. And I can only talk to you again. Okay, so since you're in the dark about this, let me lay out what's been going on. Everyone split up to investigate different parts of the building. Yeah, you already told me that a while ago. You see? Yakuya and Taka each went off in their own, on their own. And so did Kyoko. Alright. Let's check Yakuya first. I wanted to try and find out some clue who's responsible for imprison imprisoning us here. But unfortunately... I made no such discoveries. That's all for me. That's it? Yeah, really? That's it? <laughs> if I'd uncovered anything, naturally I'd have more to say. But I didn't, so I don't. You know, that's fair. No need to talk more than you know. And you have to say. A brevity and, and all that. Uh, oh, I have to talk to you again? Alright. You see. Talk on it. I spent some time looking around the dormitory and Listen to me! There, I made the discovery of the century. A bit <laughs> a bit over the top there. I found that there was exactly one room for each person. I mean if you looked at the map you'd get to the uh. same conclusion. Yeah, see even Hina gets it. Come on. Yeah. Uh-huh, yeah. 
Each door already has a nameplate on it, so I guess all the doors have been assigned already. Huh. And each room key was attached to a keychain with the owner's name precision etched onto it. Which confirms that the room I was in earlier is in fact my room. And plus. And Chihiro and I have found out that all the rooms are totally soundproof. Um. Your next door neighbor could scream their lungs out and you wouldn't hear a thing. Wow. Of all the people to say this line, they gave it to you. <laughs> Bit ominous there. <laughs> well, each room has also had a private bathroom, which could also lock. I think only the females can lock. Also, how did you test the rooms being soundproof? Were you on the other side, like in adjacent rooms and were trying to scream at each other? But it looked like there were only locks in the bathrooms in the girls' room. dorms. Yep, yep. Huh? But when I checked my bathroom door before, it definitely seemed like it was locked. That's weird. I should double check that later. Hey, come on. Plot twist, Makoto's a girl. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, so they got a bunch of rooms ready for us. They're assuming we're gonna be here for a while. Quiet down and listen! Well, better to have than have not. At least we won't have to worry about surviving like wild animals. You know, even if you didn't have rooms, you still have a whole building to you. Uh, that can't be all you have to report, can it, Mr. Honored Student? Got it! That's all for my report. He didn't even fake it. Let's move on to whoever... Whoever's next? Like, that's an ultimate way to... Um, the ultimate face save. Is that is that what that is? You see. Okay. Okay, these guys grouped up. We went all up and down the school, double checking the windows in all the hallways and classes. We wanted to see if we could get any of those metal plates to come off. And what happened was... Hmm. Nothing. Not a damn thing. We couldn't get a single one to budge even a little bit. What should I do? The, the, there wasn't any hope of escape anywhere. Well, I, you know, despair. Despair high school. No hope of escape. <laughs> the school really has been totally cut off. This is bad. This sucks. Bad, bad, It bad, really bad, bad. sucks. It sucks, 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 sucks. What the hell are we gonna do? Hey, come on. God damn, calm down. You're starting to make me nervous. You should be. Um, okay, who's see. next? All right, these guys, these last two groups. We thought maybe we could find a way to communicate with the outside, so we went looking all over. Sorry. But we didn't find a thing. Sorry. Yo. I mean, <laughs> it's already established that you're caught off. I went back to the main hall, thinking maybe we could do something about a giant hunk of metal. What? But even with Sakura what? and me both, it wouldn't budge. We hit it with desks and chairs and nothing. Oh, shit. It was hard as like metal. What? Uh, game. Yes, indeed. Exactly, Celeste. Please, thank you, thank you. Well, yes, it is metal. <sighs> Anyway, sucks. if we're gonna get out of here, it's not gonna be thorough through here, through there. I like how the game is also self-aware that it's being over-explanatory at times. Uh, I feel I could just cry, but no, I have to hold it in. I have to manage my hydration. Yeah, yeah. So then. Your hydration? <laughs> Even now, <laughs> you're thinking about sports. I shall tell you what happened next. It has nothing to do with communicating with the outside world, but it's still worth worrying about. In both the school and dorm areas, there was a set of stairs leading up to another floor. Hey. But there were gates there, and we couldn't find any way to open them, so we couldn't check it out. Yeah, we saw that on the way to the gym, I think. Hmm. In other words, at this point, we are only able to search the first floor. However, we can further assume that there is potentially something above the second floor as well. Oh, let me guess. It's called the third floor, isn't it? And if that's the case, <laughs> there is at least a chance it may lead to a way out. Look, lady, I like your optimism. Um... But if the first floor is sealed and you can't get to the second floor, I'm pretty sure they've covered their bases. Or like, they are covering, currently covering their bases right now. That's why they haven't opened up the other floors. You see? 
because Monokuma already said the whole school is, you know, your playground is where we're gonna live. So I'm pretty sure it's gonna open later. All right, let's go for these three. Let's see. If I am being honest, I can't quite say we acted as one. Rather, we did nothing as one. We spent the entire time in the Most gym. Honestly, we're not exactly the types to go running around the school like a gang of junior detectives. What the hell's wrong with you? What the hell are you thinking? Just sitting around the gym the whole time? <laughs> well, it's not like any of you invited me along. Nobody said, hey, come with us. You know, sometimes you gotta, you know, you gotta take initiative, Toko. I, I blame you for leaving me out. It's your fault. See, and 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 that's the kind of personality that just spirals. If you want to go with someone, you should have just said something. <laughs> Forget it. Like I'd want you to go anywhere with a dirty slut like you. Whoa. Okay. You are a tsundere with a major inferiority complex. And you're kind of a bee. How can you pack all those negative qualities in one character? <laughs> it, your mind is as thin as your body. It, you make me sick to my stomach. Are you for real? I, I don't even know how to react. How can you say something so awful to someone you just met? Man, or, or, Toko is so lost in her headspace. Like, the character she writes, she imprints. Like, maybe she has a B character that's similar to Junko and she's just... You know, hey, come on. Placing like how how I forgot the word, but like you're associating the character's personality with Junko. All right, guys, everyone, just calm down, okay? All this stress is bad for your skin, you know. Ooh. <laughs> well, that's way one way to defuse it. Yeah, exactly. I don't think that's what's going on, Sayaka. Hey, um. So that's what they have to say, huh? Then I guess I'm the only one left. Okay. Um. I went and had a look around the dining hall. I found a fridge in the back of the kitchen, and it was overflowing with all kinds of stuff. That's mm. good. At least, yeah. At, so, well, I mean, I guess Monokuma did say, like, all of your needs will be taken care of. I guess we don't have to worry about food, at least. Uh, sure, for now. But even with all of that, there are 15 of us. How long can the food last? I mean, just <laughs> ration it, bro. You, you can eat sesame seeds or something. Why are you so mean? <laughs> huh? What am I, a parakeet? <laughs> I don't think we have to worry about it. All the food gets restocked automatically each day. Um... At least, that's what Monokuma said. Huh? Y you saw him? Okay. Yeah, he came out of nowhere while I was checking the fridge. He told me that and then disappeared again. So where did he disappear to? Maybe that could be an exit. Did you see a door or something? He was so fast. I can't believe someone could have been moving him around with a remote control. That's... A weaponized toy that can just appear from nowhere. I can't tell if we're supposed to be afraid or not. Maybe it was programmed with something you made. But... I mean, you are the ultimate programmer. But was everything okay? He didn't try to, like, eat you or anything. <laughs> Eat her? <laughs> what What do you mean by that? I mean, when you say eat, what kind of eating are we talking about? Oh my god. You see, this is why fanfics get a bad rap. I mean, not all fanfics are like... Vor. I just say it out loud. But, you know, you're not what? helping. Come on, man. Hey, you bastard. What the hell, fatty? You're acting like some kind of sleazy drunk dude. Actually, well, he is sleazy. <laughs> Not like there's a good kind of drunk, dude. Uh, hey. You could be a responsible drunk. <laughs> hey, stop screwing around, all of you. Are you still asleep or something? We're prisoners here. You could all just die any second. Ugh, shit. She's right. We can't be making stupid jokes right now. We gotta do something or... A voice cut through the noise, interrupting Mondo. You're all... Who's this? You're all spending an awful time, a lot of times, yelling and carrying on. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's Kyokyo. Do you really think you can afford to do so? Have none of you accepted the reality of the situation? Yo! 
Kyoko, where the heck have you been? We already started the meeting without you. She didn't say a word. Instead, she just dropped a piece of paper on the table. Huh? What's this? It appears to be a map of Hope Speak Academy. A map? You mean like this one? <laughs> what the? Where did you find this? Wow. It doesn't matter where I found it. Ooh, that's cold. It does matter. You're really freaking us out right now. But more important. Never mind that. What's it mean? It means that there's a map. What do you think? The building in we're at now is laid in precisely the same way as Hope Speak Academy. So what you're saying is this really is Hope Speak Academy? It's true. Well, in terms of its construction, yes. But it looks like it had a number of strange renovations done to it. Renovations? However, I don't know all the details yet. All I found was details about the first floor. Um... But then, this really is Hope Speak. We didn't get kidnapped and taken to some other, some other place. Well, I guess it is easier to just trap you in than just build a whole school out of, from scratch. I mean, that had to be really premeditated. And where can you hide a building? Huh? So stupid, it's not even possible. This is where the country's future elite are supposed to come and learn. But, but if this really is Hope Speak, we're all the other students. Yeah. yeah. Hey, come on, guys. Let's stop talking about all this, you know, negative stuff. You know, sometimes, bro, you need to talk about the negative stuff. Maybe that's why you were held back until you're 21. But aren't you worried? Things don't look good. Yo. Worried? What's there to be worried about? I mean, this was all planned out, right? The people in charge of host speak put this all together, right? I don't think that's what's going on here. <laughs> Man, if I got stressed every time something like this happened, I'd have ectoplasm shooting out of my mouth. You know? Good things come to those who wait, right? So we just gotta chill and everything will work itself out. So, you're telling me that a mechanical bear that explodes is actually the administration of Hope Speak Academy, where all the ultimate students supposedly come and learn and at the same time there are no other students here and you know that's all part of the plan supposedly <laughs> yes Celeste okay I am vibing with Celeste she's literally my spirit animal what's your problem why are you laughing what's so funny you all are funny <laughs> I'm just happy, that is all. It seems splitting to investigate was a good idea after all. See, that's a lie, and that's a poker face. <sighs> Haven't you been listening? Looking around was a total waste of time. We, we didn't find a way out. We didn't find who's behind this. We still have no idea what's going on. Now that's, un now that's unnecessarily negative. Oh. Huh? Is it not crystal clear to you what is going on? Are you okay with this? Oh, look at that face. She's like super judging you. It is perfectly obvious that we've been imprisoned in some secret location with no way out. None of us had any response to that. We didn't want to accept that reality, but it was staring us right in the face. <laughs> you don't have to go and say that. Well, you didn't have to go all be negative and say it was useless. I, I was trying not to think about it. N no way out. We're trapped here. What are we supposed to do? Oh, come on. You have an inferiority complex. You're probably just gonna turn around and say, oh, this is probably what I deserve or something. <laughs> it's very simple. If you want to leave, you just have to kill. Stop it! Oh. That is a very transactional thing to say. But then again, you are, you know, the business guy. Don't even joke about that. Um... I don't think he was joking, ma'am. Everyone, just calm down, please. We still need to th stop and think about what to do from here. Seems like... There's gotta be something we can do. <laughs> All we can do is adapt. Adapt to living our lives here from now on. That... Live here? Are you saying we should just accept it? I mean, that is the safe bet. Do you understand? A lack of adaptability is a lack of survivability. Survival is not based on who is the strongest or the smartest, 
It comes down to those who can adapt. Actually. <laughs> what? I forgot a meme again. The adapt overcome meme. <laughs> As someone who has come out on top more than once, I have a suggestion. What? What do you mean? Hmm. We all understand we are trapped here, which means we will be spending the night. However, you all remember the rule regarding nighttime, right? Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits, so please exercise caution, right? Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. Let's see. So, regarding this nighttime, I think we need to add a rule of our own. What do you mean? <laughs> Going out to the nighttime should be prohibited altogether. Oh, yeah! Because technically, things are just, you know, off limits and nighttime is categorized, but you're not this allowed to go out. I totally missed that. Yeah, exactly. The school regulations do not actually tell us not to go out at night. I would like to make it official. Huh? But, but why? Are you okay with this? The way things are now, every time night comes, we will all start to get worried and anxious. Mm -hmm. We will all be afraid someone might try and come and kill us. But the doors are unhackable, like un unlockable, and unless you open the door, and I'm pretty sure no one can get in. What? <laughs> if we had to worry about that night after night for who knows how long, it will wear us down in no time. I see. So you're suggesting we limit our activity at night as a kind of preventative measure. Indeed. Right, no one is breaking into Sakura's room. They would be bodied. <laughs> However, unlike the other rules, nobody can be forced to comply. We all have to agree to follow it. What can we do? I see what you mean, but I think I can agree to that. It's not... It's like the little golf Lilith said. Without something like that, we're just gonna self-destruct. Mm. Listen to me! On behalf of all the men here, I agree to comply. Wow, what? why are you dragging us into this? Exactly! Oh my god, this game is predicting what I'm saying every single time. Or maybe I'm just that predictable. <laughs> this is fine. So everyone is in agreement. Good. <laughs> then if you will excuse me. Hey, wait, where are you going? Let's see. It is almost nighttime. It says nighttime right up here. I want to take a shower before it arrives. Oh yeah, the water goes out. I hope you are well. So goodbye. Moving with pure elegance, Celeste left the dining hall. Her behavior seemed so natural, I couldn't imagine anyone even trying to stop her. Um. So, so I guess it's pretty obvious where we go from here. We'll be spending the night, it looks like. Huh. Adaptability. Hmm. So, Mr. Chairman, what next? One person already left. Hmm. Uh, well then, what do you say? We call an end to today's meeting. You understand? Like she said, it's almost nighttime anyway. We can reconvene first thing tomorrow morning. Huh? D do we really have to stay the night? Oh, you're adorable. Oh, look at that. What can we do? I mean, normally I don't like the soft spoken, but I, I don't think she's the annoying kind of soft, soft spoken. We don't have a choice. We can't go for long without getting some sleep. <sighs> this sucks. Uh, so we just have to give up. That's all fine and good for today, but what do we do t tomorrow? So in the end... Our only option is to split up and look around again and let everyone know if you find anything. Hmm. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Aww. Then we're done for today. Good, I'm exhausted. With heavy movements, everyone headed off to their private rooms. Um. Makoto, are you ready to call it a day? Yeah, let's go. All right, we're back in the room. Is this really where I'll be staying for the foreseeable future? Oh, that's right. I should check the bathroom one more time before I go to bed. Only the girls' bathroom should be ha have locks on them, right? All right, so the plot thickens. Let's check this room door thing for now. It's no use. It really is locked. <laughs> This is wrong! It's not locked! Where'd you even come from? Holy crap! Jeez. 
Talk about an overreaction. It's like you just saw a ghost or something. What? Well, like some kind of robot bear ghost. I mean, that's exactly what I saw. Well, what are you doing in here? Well, you know, the important question is, where did it come from? Because, you know, that might be a way out, Makoto. You, you need to think outside of the box here. What? Makoto Naegi, this is a super dumb and majorly bad. So bad, it's almost magical. Uh, I'm going to break my voice if I keep uh -huh. poisoning you. In point of fact, I acknowledge that the bathroom in your room has a problem with the door frame. Wait, so the reason it won't open isn't because it's locked? The door just doesn't fit? Hey, um... Didn't you see the notice? What? Can't you read? He has got a point. The bathrooms in the boys' rooms don't have locks. Yeah. I mean, locks in a boys' bathroom is kind of pointless, don't you think? All right. I see where you're going with this. Yo, that's still pretty sexist. <laughs> ba -bam, ba -bam. Well, it's not that point. It's not that it's pointless, I guess, but I'm no expert on the birds and the bees. Yep, that's where he was going. Listen up! Anyway, there's a little trick to opening this particularly ill-fitting door. And that's what I'm about what I'm here to teach you. Okay, ready? So you just gotta turn the doorknob, then lift while you pull. Oh, alright, so it's like, we also have a door like this at home. It also doesn't fit, but I think it's because it swells when it rains, you know. So you gotta lift it up and yeah, exactly, and pull. Yes, indeed. Go ahead, give it a try. Turn the knob and lift the door while I pull. When I did that, the door opened without a problem. Nice. <laughs> -hoo -hoo. See, it opened up. Isn't that crazy though? Your door's the only one that doesn't fit quite right. Why do I feel that this will, like, come back to be relevant? Like, maybe we can hide in here and no one knows how to open the door so we can be safe or something? <laughs> you're supposed to be the ultimate lucky student, right? But it's like you're not lucky at all. Bye-bye! Uh, or, you know, it could be luck in the future. You can't really judge luck until it happens. You know, that's kind of how luck works. <laughs> hey, wait! So where'd you go? Can't you observe where he went? Oh, come on. Ding dong, bing bong. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. All right. Oh, you actually tell us as at such, least. It is officially nighttime. Uh huh. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked. An entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Oh, see? See, that's what I'm talking about. If he has to restock the food, that means he has to open some other door to restock the dining hall. And that's why, I'm pretty sure that's why entry at that point is strictly prohibited. See, that should be a clue right there. Okay, then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. I think we have bigger problems than bed bugs. Looks like it's night time. We all promised we wouldn't leave our rooms now. All I can do is try and get some sleep. While still mumbling to myself, I collapsed into bed. My eyes closed almost immediately. It's not that I was ready for bed exactly. I was just utterly exhausted. And you know, you just kind of got up. So I don't know what you're tired about. It was as if I'd spent the entire day staring at the TV watching movies. Or like some kind of illusion where I'd been tossed into a made-up fantastical world. Yeah, that feels about right. There's no easy way to just accept the situation we've suddenly been dropped into. And that is where the episode ends. So, if you all are liking the video so far, and would like to see where this all goes, I mean, it's been pretty slow, but... It looks like introductions are finally done and we can finally move to the juicy parts. So leave a like, comment, and maybe subscribe if you want more. And I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe, everyone.